War Diary, day 619 of Russia's war against Ukraine. As the chimes of 12 o'clock die out, here's some thoughts of what's happening. The Ukrainians are on the back foot because the great dictators have got their act together. North Korea has sent a million shells to Russia and Europe is sending less to Ukraine. Now it's bad. Secondly, Ukraine is on the back foot because of this awful evil thing in Israel, Gaza. So far, 1,400 Israelis were killed and something like 9,000 Palestinians. Both sides have rights. Both sides have people in them who are extremists. And trying to find a centre where humanity and decency wins is incredibly difficult. I understand that. And my sympathy is both with ordinary Israelis and ordinary Palestinians who just want to live in peace. But this evil thing is also an evil distraction for the moment. Far too many people in the West are forgetting, forgetting the suffering here. The third thing is that we in the West, we haven't sent enough weapons to Ukraine in a timely fashion and we're not doing enough on sanctions too. Now, actually, Russian sanctions are working. The, the Russians have raised their bank interest rate to something like 15% because there is a flight of money because the war, their war is proving incredibly expensive as all wars always do and the thing about populists is as well as being disgusting they end up killing their own supporters but we can do better, for example Canada has sanctioned the former or maybe current Russian spy Alexander Lebedev, the father of Baron Siberia Evgeny Lebedev, Boris Johnson's friend. But Britain hasn't. Why the anomaly? Explain that to me. I don't understand it. Oh, and Vladimir Putin, do fuck off. 